The way this came about, the Take Dance connection, was our friend Tamara Bachara ran into Take on the street one day, and they started talking, and Tamara, who is an actor, agreed to do some freelance work as their company manager. And a few months later, Tamara suggested we invite Take and Jill, Take's uh, assistant director, to our New Year's party. And they did come, and Damien ended up making music for them. And our friend Storm was also there with Cheryl McCarran, who ended up designing costumes for Take Dance. I started dancing when I was three and um, grew up in California and then went to uh, New York to do my serious training at SUNY Purchase and then Jill Echo discovered my talent one summer in España and uh, she set one of Take's first pieces called Subasa and she took Take's recommendation to hire me which was very lucky and um, so I feel like they're kind of my parents in a way. <laughs> and uh, I started my first tour with them with a fake ID. Most artists aspire to find a, mo a moment or, or an atmosphere where they're driven to stretch more of themselves. They're driven to um, reach for things that they wouldn't necessarily reach for. Tortured brow that Mickey Mouse has grown up a cow. And now the workers have struck for fame. Cause Lennon's on sale again. And I said, okay, great. That was the first I'd heard of Take, the first I saw of them. And of course I immediately realized there was something very special. Last week has been so wonderful. A few of us were talking about it, and we agree that just the energy among this group is amazing, really giving, generous, focused, professional, very loving.
went to see the New York premiere of Tate Dance Company. And that night I went home and wrote what would become the first three minutes of looking for water. Uh, I sent Take an email with uh, three minutes of music and uh, the next day he got back to me and said his company loves it, he loves it, and he wanted to make it the next piece. Very good. I like this company. This is good. I think uh, average age this company is, uh, I think, oldest one since I started the company. Um, yeah, they're working very well. No ego. Because I have so much ego. So nobody can have ego more than I have. And yeah, this is our, you know, second home. Target and second home. We're gonna be back here like every summer. So yeah. I love my dancers here and staying together. You know, whole week and eating together and sleeping together. Not sleeping together, but sleeping together. And it's good. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. I get to know everybody, and then they get to know me, and then I. Before was like they were a little. I'm sure they're still afraid of me a little bit, you know. But now it's a bit more comfortable. Because I'm not really, you know. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, nine. He was really mean. And we were all like totally. And we came back Thursday night in the pouring rain and the freezing. And it was um. It, what you he made some people eggs this morning. Eggs. You cooked? Eggs. Not me. But we came back Thursday night in the pouring rain, freezing after having the day where he was like, no, 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 it's awful, it's awful, it's awful. And we were defeated and we're like, we're just going to try really hard and just do it. And like we're backstage freezing until it's time to take your, you know, things off and do the costumes. And it, he, it was great. Like we totally, we found it. So we only found it Thursday night. We're ready. So that you know that when he really likes something, he really enjoys it, and it's not just a thing that he says. And also that uh, he really just tries to pull the, the most out of you that he can because he doesn't believe that what he sees of you is, is the very bottom of the barrel unless he sees that it is. Um, so it's, it's really kind of um, nurturing. It's been very enriching to, to work with him because I know that um, uh, he's asking me to, to climb a really tall mountain and I'm, I'm very happy to, to climb it. And so 
I just make sure they have everything that they need to be safe and to have a good time and to do their jobs and I run uh, I call the lights and the sound so everything's all synced up and at the right levels and looks and sounds awesome It reads. I hope so. I think it could. But it's been it's been such a pleasure to work with these dancers too, and such, such wonderful people as well. Great, our dancers are working so hard. I, mean, I can't ask for anything more from dancers. This is a commitment. It's a great. I think you know the yeah putting out there like a hundred percent, more than hundred percent. I'm I'm still screaming, yelling at them. And blaming them, so keep saying no, no, no. But they're good. Yeah, it's all good in Chatham. It's a very interesting job for me here because I feel that I wear three hats, M maybe more. I'm, I'm a dear. Take is my dear friend, so we have a really close friendship. Then I'm a confidant with, in terms of the company and making choices as the assistant director. And then as the rehearsal director, and they, I'm called Mama Jill, I sort of take care of the dancers and I'm sort of the heavy also for Take to say they need 15 minutes break or the dancers want to make sure that this is here and that's there. If they feel that they um, a little uncomfortable going to him directly. They go through me, and then I sort of do do that end. And then Take will say, "This dancer is, you know, not pulling their weight here, or can you talk to them about that?" And you know, I'm sent to talk to them about things that he needs that he doesn't want to directly take care of. And then lastly, I'm a dancer in the company, so I'm also their coworker, and so I know that I I try to switch the hats. But it's hard for other people to view me differently and switch the hat with me. So sometimes I'll want to sit down and just be chummy, and they, they, they'll tense up thinking I'm going to give them a correction. <laughs> it's your company member, but how are they knowing, you know, which, which one I am? And I think, I think that's always the, ju the juggle struggle for me. And I think also, when I'm dancing a dance, and I know that we don't have a rehearsal director at that moment because I'm in it, I do my work and try to see what's going on around me while I'm dancing, and then when I exit, I, conti I continually go right back into the work and try to remember the notes and dance well and give the notes afterwards. <laughs>
have, um, you know, we're only permitted and we're supposed to end our performances at 10. There was just an important announcement that you might need to document, but I think you both need to come in there. Okay. Well, important All right. announcement? Okay, the important okay. announcement. Important announcement. different language. I, it's not English, it's not Japanese, it's something like in the middle. It's like Japanese English. I don't know, it's bad. It's like, it needs more, I don't know, something. Maybe you do better. That's not good. It's weird. <laughs> Jill does it better than me. Jill should do it. What are you doing? No, that's not, no, you, no, try it again. No, no, that's not. D don't think about the shape. This is good. Can you do it better? Can you, can you jump for higher? I have to channel it. Something weird. 
scared over here. I don't know what it is. It's like, ah, ah, ah. I want something more like bigger and like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, they say that? That's what they say. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe it is. six people I think uh, and the high bid came around about 600 something like that ended up with 700 and something like 780 I think was the final number that they gave okay, so, um, the coordinator dance coordinator the creator of the performance she wanted to um, cancel and um, complexions want to cancel I did cancel the show so and I watch outside of Central Park and there's like so many people already waiting on the line to get in. So I'm like, you can't really cancel this show, even the bad weather. Despite the bad weather, you know, so many people came. Like, so I told the um, dance coordinator and said, let me talk to my dancers. And we told yeah, the producer that we would do it. Dance company. So let me say this proud to be presented by the City Parks Foundation with the generous support of our festival sponsors. They're pissed the company wouldn't get paid if we didn't go on. And I very much respected the fact that they gave us the You're choice. The I also was kind of proud that this is the kind of company we were like, yeah, we'll do it. You know, so I was very proud of that. Take does his, their program. They are going to do, they're going to join us in the Everybody Dance Now segment. It's
Take has got something special for you. Great. Look at this. Three groups. So let's see. So we're going to use our pointing gestures and our sh and our here and our C and make our dance. Most of the choreographer's piece is like a seven minutes, eight minutes, and they want to talk two minutes or three minutes, explain what it is and where the company comes from, what company's artistic vision is. Uh, but I rather show my dance than talking about my dance. Hi, good evening. My name is Takehiro Uyama. I'm the artistic director of Take Dance Company. Tonight we will be performing final section of one. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy it. Dog show of dance performers. 
companies coming and going and squeezing backstage, but it was fun. Um, everybody's really calm. Stress up. Stress. Uh, they know when to be professional and you know when it's time to go on stage. You know, everybody puts their serious face on, but uh, everybody kept the atmosphere really kind of fun and relaxed. And so it was not at all stressful. Hey, pop. Stress, stress, stress. Hopefully, we get a few gigs from this. You know, even we get one, right? To be good, to be nice. At this point, at this point, we don't good. even know why we work together. It's good, <laughs> but it's good though. It's good. Because he can't do everything that I do, and I can't do everything that he does. I guess say this like oh, I, no, I, I, I no, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm the muscle, she's the brain. How's that? I think it's pretty difficult. 
things to do. Suddenly appears this young man who I think is a brilliant dancer and combined the thing that Taylor had, which was a very masculine presence with a very extreme sensitivity. And um, went back after one of the performances and introduced myself. And I found out that they didn't mind that you came back. In fact, they liked it. So whenever I could, I went back and said hello to Taki. And at one point I said to him, because he mentioned that he wanted to start a company. And I said, well, if you ever do, come and see me because I have spent the last 25 years of my life fundraising for not-for-profit arts organizations and I'd be delighted to help you. And that's what he did. was a diva in her day like at um, Ailey there are pictures of company members all over you know like the walls in the lobby there's this one called Linda Kent like being caught by four men literally like she's like this her hair is flying because she's coming from like some type of jump on high to their arms it's incredible she's a great teacher too Well, I'm apprenticing with the company, so I'm kind of just learning all the parts I can and trying to understudy everything. And then in the summer, I'm filling in for a girl who's not going to be able to do one of our shows. So, so I'm just kind of learning everything I can. and then just the shoulder of a dress. And he said, oh, I need you to make this dress and there's very little to actually go on in the painting. Um, so part of what I was doing here today is watching the piece to see what kind of movement they're doing to figure out what sort of dress the rest of this needs to be since I only have a shoulder to go on. So we were talking about things about, well, how fitted is it, how much volume in the skirt, how long is the skirt, and, and things like that. Take Oyama and yeah. Jill Echo of the Take Dance Company, yeah. based here in New York. Your group is a modern dance company, is that yes. what you would say? Okay, and so explain say, to people, yeah. the viewers, what is modern dance as compared to, say, jazz or ballet? I think we have a much more freedom mm -hmm. to do at the, as an art form. I think we have a much more freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Often you're working with music, most of the time working with music, and sometimes working with a composer, sometimes with music that's already been composed, but sometimes you have music composed specifically for the piece. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it also seems like you have choreographers involved in your dance company besides yourself. Like yes. uh, Jill is also a choreographer, from I what I understand. I will be this summer. She will be playing a <laughs> brand new piece this summer. The yeah, other choreographer, even like working with my own dancer, it's already collaboration. It's a form of collaboration. I mean, collaboration. I can, yeah, I can do so much by myself, and I bring the idea and throw my idea to my dancers. Take, I want to ask you a little bit about yourself and and how you came to dance. Um, where were you born and raised? Go yeah, ahead. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. I never danced any any formal training. 
until close to 20 years old. I oh, really, really wanted to be a professional baseball player and I hurt my shoulder. Injuries. Wait, you wanted to be a professional baseball player? Like oh, a ma baseball Matsu player. Hideki oh, okay. Matsui and Ichiro, right? <laughs> wow. So you started as an athlete. Shortstop. Shortstop. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's, that was my dream. And I thought, okay, this dream is not going to work. So what am I supposed to do? And at the same time in Japan, that was like a 90, late 80s. Everybody started doing break dancing. Um, so I was one of them too, on the oh, street and break dancing, hip hop dancing. <laughs> and somehow I ran into the, my first formal dance teacher. I was close to 20. I hated it. So we're at a place where we really need to ask our board to get more funds so we can hire a full-time managing director for the company. At this point, it's been Take and I, and um, recently Elise, who's also a dancer in the company, as the company manager, to do all of the administrative work. But we're not getting the bookings and the tourings and the grants that we need um, to keep the company alive and go to the next professional level. The only way we could do that is to put out forty or fifty thousand dollars a year for a managing director, like someone who actually does that for a living and knows what they're doing. So as far as funding that, how do you make that happen? And if we don't, we may not last. Or we'll only last the way we are. Two shows a year pick up. Like we won't be a company. So it's a scary time, it's exciting time, but it's a really scary time. That it's getting very um, frustrated. And it started affecting my walk, you know, in the studio. Used to be I, I was okay, but now it's especially we have a new season coming like a six weeks, seven weeks from now. And so much stuff I have to do. But my idea is that if I don't do right now, there's no future. I don't know. 
just always much, much more ado than there is over here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
What's it like dancing together? Oh, it's good. I mean, we, we don't could do dance enough. more. Yeah, we don't do it enough. We did the trio, which was which was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we danced together for many years in Taylor, and so after, I guess, what, two years now, after his retirement, it comes to this point, and we get to be on stage again together, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's nice to have him come to work with me, you know, during Talking's rehearsals. You know, not just coming by myself, but having him there again by my side and making it all, you know, that much more worth it. Well, and that's one of the great. reasons why I I did this project. I mean, not just to dance with Take again and, you know, relive that history, but also the chance to get to perform with, you know, my boyfriend again. I mean, who, who wouldn't take that opportunity when you still can? Now we need to sleep for a week after doing Take's show, because he killed us. I have a lot of nicknames. Call me Shay Shay. Wiki Wiki JJ. It's action. So they call me Just One John. Jibuta san, Jill No Neko. Is late Kate. Special J. Jill is not Ness, and I'm hot. There's more, but I can't think of them right now. I guess I haven't earned one. I haven't been here long enough or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you need to be. Yeah. You call. Like a giant. You are a giant man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm relocating from New York for a little while. Um, I was able to get myself a spot in a full-time dance company. Um, and full-time meaning like dancing nine to five, five days a week. Thankfully, Take has been so incredibly supportive, as is the whole company, you know, for this kind of detour that I'm taking. But while this has it's been a totally bittersweet decision for me, um, because I love New York, I love Take Dance, I've been there since the beginning. And I, and I want to see the company grow and I want to be there through that process still. So every time I, I talk to anybody, I'm referring to this as my leave of absence. The movie did not affect my life as powerfully as the experience pre-movie affected my life. Um, being let go was harder than having it documented. Documenting it did not help much um, in terms of self-confidence and trying to get back on, on my feet. Ironically, the feedback from the movie was positive in terms of my um, the response I received and I was expecting it to be, of course, negative because um, when you have someone of that stature say things um, on film, people tend to believe those, you know, they're, of course they're going to believe Paul Taylor and that his word is truth. Um, so that was hard. The documentary came out after I had already sort of picked myself back up again, which took some time. Um, I had already went back to receive my master's and I was teaching in the university in Purchase College when the documentary came out. and. Um, having it on the buses and, and get this, my students getting free tickets to go see it. Uh, after I had like sort of made amends, it was just like in your face, like right back. That was um, difficult. Take said, you're not done performing and you're not a victim and you're beautiful and you're coming back and you're going to be a part of my company and you're moving on from there. And then he says, you're choreographing on the company because you can because you're good enough. And, and I received a thank you from the dance maker makers with a free 
10 CD DVD box, you know, set with stickers and thank you so much for making this possible, which the irony in that is, of course, is obvious. Dancers are getting used to, you know, getting direction from me, even I don't really explain well. <laughs> My explanation is like, well, you go over here and then something circular with that, that's what I want. And they will understand because they, you know, they've been working with me for five years. And Jill's been working with them as a dancer and rehearsal director. So it's not the creative process. You know, dancers are jazzing, she's adjusting, so it's different. And she, she was usually very good at the... So she's very good at it. This is life for speed. sore today so I need like an hour stretching. She got the hair like a drum drum. What do you think? No. Yes. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't know who's is who's. Can, can I see that? No. You know what? Underneath? It, it, it is hard to. Um, That's fine. I do have to make the mess. I have to dye like yours again. Okay. I'm going to have to dye the underneath garments again. Really? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. Let me take a white. Maybe the John and Sharon stop staying in the middle and then it goes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Something more like in, out, more yeah. like that. Okay, all right. Because then, if you go more like this, and I don't see John and Sharon like uh, setting up with the duet. Not because they, you know, it's this couple's here, this couple's here. So Sharon and Kyle, you can be more down no. Don't get so close to her that you can't do that. Can I roll more down You can enter the Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's never seen dancer girls before. It's his first time he's ever seen a dancer. I just turned and saw boobs. <laughs> Yeah, no, but no, 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 no,
<laughs> the first day I was like freaking out because my cell phone doesn't work. So it took me like a few hours to adjust to not being in the city. But it's fun, it's like really relaxing. And there's trees and grass and stuff, so it's good. I feel like I'm on vacation though, which might be bad for dancing. This recent performance in Old Chatham was kind of very special for me because um, not only did I got to work with Take Dance, but I actually had the opportunity to perform with Take on stage, like solo dancer, solo violin. And for me, just to be able to share that moment with him, uh, both professionally and personally, was very special. So I'm so happy about that. I think you're gonna drop me. Yeah, and then a bit here. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get the ice bucket, and it's gonna suck. But 20 minutes, it'll, it'll be. I need it. I feel it'll, like it's totally. Is it up higher? It's so not okay. I fell off the stairs. I wasn't even doing anything. Like, listen, listen. This is what people just get you with that. all the way up here. And that's your problem. The ligament right here to here is the one I think you've really strained and you've pulled that peroneal muscle that starts up here, comes down and around and does the aversion of the foot. What you're gonna what we're gonna do is tape your foot like this so there's less stress on it. There's still stress on it when you're dancing. We think she might be able to dance. I hope so. I just jump so much, and that, that's all I do. And I run, and I jump, and I run, and I jump, and I turn, and I jump. beautiful work. I, I think you have to have luck and you have to get in there and, and, and do what he's doing. My new favorite thing to dance is Jill's piece, Left There by the Tide. very powerful so we have to make sure that we <laughs> don't hit each other and uh, and show the choreography <laughs> correctly um, or you know more along those lines yeah uh -huh. It's 
only a four-year-old company, and for three of those four years, they've graced our stage, so we are delighted to have them back. boob bruise <clears throat> from one of my duets maybe um, maybe like the crawling duet or something lift crawling lift and then I don't know which one this is it could be many many things it just I think it just makes me look like I'm diseased I'm not really sure what that's from
the, the two hot dudes room. We didn't put that, by the way. That was one of the ladies that, that did that. That was not, I, I didn't do that. Join us, won't you? A little T-bone, a little vino. Kimo! Kimo! As Taki would say, <laughs> Kimo! Kimo! Come on, say come on. Come on, come on, come on. in Chatham, New York. A bunch of crazy dancers. I'm really scared. I want to bend space and time, make a year. I know Taki more than 20 years. A long time ago, he was taking jazz dance class. He wanted, he wanted to be a jazz dancer. But believe me, hey, you don't believe it, maybe. But believe it. This dinner for a world famous dancer. Well, that would defeat the point of the documentary. Specifically.